Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install a mod pack from the ATL launcher onto your Minecraft server so that you can join and play with all the mod packs that you want to play with. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you'll need to do is navigate to where you've installed your ATL launcher. So, mine's on a desktop inside this ATL folder, so I'm just going to open that. Then I'm going to launch the launcher, um, it'll be called atlauncher.exe, so we'll launch that. And you'll want to make sure you have all, all these folders here. When you first install the ATL launcher, it won't have these, but once you first launch it, it, will, it should generate them upon the first launch. So now that I've launched it, you'll want to make sure you're logged into your account. If you're not, you can go to the accounts tab here, enter your username and password and log in. That's for your Minecraft account, by the way, not your server pro account. So once you're logged in, you'll want to go to packs, and then you'll want to choose the server, and um, the mod pack that you'll want to create the server for. So in this case, I'm going to use the Resonant Rise. So you click the little button here that says Create Server. And then you choose the version that you want to install. So the first set of numbers is the version of the mod pack, and then the second set, is that's in a bracket, is usually the Minecraft version. So this is Resonant Rise 4.1.0.1-B, and it's on Minecraft version 1.10.2. So we'll click that one as it's the latest and we want to install that and then you click install. And then it will give you the option to install some extra mods. If you don't want to use these, I wouldn't recommend using them. Um, I just click install as it makes the process a bit simpler, but if you want to install them, feel free to. So now it will download all the resources for the server files so that we can begin installing it on our server pro server. So I'll get back to you once these are finished downloading. So, once it's completed the download for the server files, it will tell you the location that the server files have been downloaded to. So in this case, it's under Users, Kieran, Desktop, ATL, Servers, and then a folder called Resonant Rise underscore 4101B. So we'll click OK to that, and then we'll go to that directory, which I have opened back here, and then they click on the Servers folder, then Resonant Rise, which is the mod pack we just downloaded the server files for. So as you can see, they're all here. So the first thing you'll want to do is delete the launch.launchserver.sh and launchserver.bat. It may not be called launch server, but any file that ends in .sh or .bat, you can feel free to delete them as they're not needed. So we'll delete them. And then what you want to do is select all of these files and folders using the buttons Control A on your keyboard. So they're all all highlighted in blue like so. Right click and then click send to compressed folder and this will enable us to upload it to the server on server pro so once the files are finished compressing you'll be able to rename the file which has been compressed um, and we're just going to call it resonant rise so it's easy to remember and then once you've renamed that uh, to make it easy when you upload it to your server you want to drag it onto your desktop so it's easy to find. So now it's dragged onto the desktop. So now what we'll need to do is upload this file to our server on the server pro control panel. So I'll just go to our browser and I'm already on the server. And you'll need to stop the server if you haven't already. And then after that, you'll want to go to the file manager. And then you'll want to delete all the files apart from the server.properties file. So I'll just select every other file. And the reason that we're deleting the files is so that there isn't any sort of conflicts or anything while we install the mod pack. Because if you've had previous mods installed or any items in a world that aren't compatible with this mod pack, it will cause problems. So just to make things simpler and reduce the chances of any problems happening, we're going to delete everything apart from the server.properties file. So once you've highlighted everything, click delete, click OK. And feel free to make a backup before you do that. Um, and then you can restore back to the server if you don't like the mod pack or choose you want to switch back to what it was. So now that you've deleted everything but the server properties file, you want to go to the upload file tab here and then click choose files and then go to your desktop if you're not already on it and then click on the .zip file that we just compressed. So click open on that, then upload from computer and then this will begin uploading that file to our server pro file manager. So once that's uploaded, we'll be able to unzip it and all the files and folders will be on our server. So I'll get back to you once it's finished uploading so that we can do that. So once that file has completed uploading, you'll see it appear here and you should see the server.properties file and that file and nothing else. 
So once it's finished uploading, click it, just highlight it like so, and then click unzip. And then it will extract all the files from that compressed file. And you should be, you should receive all the same files that are located in the folder which we was downloaded earlier. So it should have all the same folders and files that are here, apart from the server.properties file. So I would just check that before going further. So now that we can see that we've got all the same files and folders, we can proceed to continue the installation. So let's go back to the My Server tab. And then down here where it says jar file under the configuration area, you will want to select the forge.jar file. So you select that and then you click save and restart. And that's it. You've basically installed the mod pack on your server now and it should um, start up without any problems. Um, and yet you should be able to join it once it finishes starting up. So I'll go through that with you once it's finished. So once the mod pack has started on your server successfully, you will need to go back to the ATL launcher and then you'll need to find the mod pack that you wish to use if you haven't installed it on your ATL launcher already. So in this case, we're using Resonant Rise. So I'm going to click a new instance and this will install the mod pack on the client itself so that I can launch the game with the Resonant Rise installed. So we're going to click new instance, same version that we installed on the server. Just double check it is, that's correct. And then click install. And then again, we didn't install these optional mods on the server, so we're not going to install them on the client either. If you install them on the client and you don't install them on the server, you won't be able to join and vice versa. So click install. And then I'll be back with you once it's finished installing. So now that the mod pack has been installed on our client successfully, you'll see a little window that comes up saying resonant rise version number installed. So then you click OK. Then you go to the instances tab. And then you find the mod pack that you've just installed, which in this case is Resonant Rise, and then you click play. So now what this will do, this will launch the client with the mod pack installed so that you can join the server. So once it launches successfully, I'll be back with you. So once the client has successfully launched with Resonant Rise, you'll be greeted with this fancy client. And then you'll be able to click the multiplayer tab so that you can join to your server, click direct connect or you can add it as a server, I'll, I'll add it in this case. Um, let's give it a name, let's call it um, Rise Server. And then the server address is your IP address. So as you can see above just here, the one for this server is youtube.myserver.gs. So then we'll click done, and then we should be able to join this server. So we'll just wait for it to connect. It might take a little longer as it's gonna be loading a lot of mods for the first time. So there we go, as you can see, the mod pack is installed on the server successfully and you are able to play the mod pack. And this applies to all mod packs on ATL Launcher. They all have the same process. It's not just for Resonant Rise. Um, so yeah, if you have any problems, feel free to contact our support or comment down below. Um, and thank you for watching and goodbye.